We're told the penny horses outside King Supers are going away. The family that first installed those rides generations ago in 1947 says the King Supers has decided to get rid of the horses. Photojournalist Corky Scholl caught up with a third generation penny horse trainer of sorts. It is difficult. It's, it's nerve wracking. It's sad to see this era come to an end. That's essentially what we've done for four generations now is keeping these horses going for the kids. My name's Eddie Bennett, and this is my dad, Harry Heaston, uh, that ran the business for many years, and my son, Keegan, my son, Chase, and my daughter, Tara. The joy for us is going into the stores and actually working on them because we get to hear a lot of stories when people come by and talk about them. It's something that we've really enjoyed providing the service uh, for all these years, and it is sad to see it uh, come to an end with King Supers for sure. But at this point in time, they will be removed permanently. They do want to go ahead and pull them out of all the stores. So at this point, we are bringing them in and, and trying to find every little square foot that we can put them in. These horses do bring a lot of joy to a lot of young kids, and, and we really don't want to see them sit in a warehouse and, and fade away. I think it's something you used to see in a lot of stores years ago, and you just don't see them anymore. Of course, we would like to try to hopefully put them in another location somewhere. Uh, we'd hate to see them not go back out for the kids to enjoy, but if that's not possible, then we obviously will start selling them off uh, to interested people that, that would like to have a little bit of Colorado history at their own home for their kids and grandkids. It's been an absolute joy ride for our family, but it is sad. It is sad to see it come to an end. The The penny horses have always been just a penny. I learned that a few years ago when I assumed out loud and on air that they were 25 cents a ride. I learned that I was wrong and that somebody apparently made quite the killing off of my childhood in Western New York. 25 cents a ride. We'll be back with your feedback next.